This section will cover the terminology and location of components. In the first compartment behind the operator's cab is the toolbox, washer fluid reservoir, as well as the front and rear drum Kawasaki drive motors. In the next compartment are the main control valves for all hydraulic functions. There is also piping and hydraulic valves in place for an optional third drum. In the rear door on the operator's side is the fuel tank, which has a capacity of 106 gallons, with a standard fill pump for easy refueling. At the front of the other side of the machine is the air cleaner, which can be found under the forward step. Next is the battery compartment, which houses two 12-volt series connected batteries. This is followed by the after-cooler and radiator. The Hino diesel is easily accessible with all fluid checkpoints in clear view. All filters can be reached easily for routine maintenance. The hydraulic tanks are easily accessible and include a sight gauge for the exterior of the machine. You should also note that both the radiator and hydraulic tank can be accessed by removing these panels from the top of the machine. For the operator's comfort, compartment doors are covered with soundproof foam to reduce noise. The undercarriage for the CK1600 features track rollers that are sealed and do not require grease. Also, track pads on the 1600 are designed with arrows pointing in the forward direction. In this compartment on the crawler frame, you can adjust track tension with the provided hydraulic jack. The adjustment is maintained by shims between the idler block and frame. The independent hydraulic propel drive is built into each crawler side frame. Each drive consists of a hydraulic motor driving a propel sprocket through a planetary gearbox. The boom hoist is powered by a hydraulic motor through planetary reducer. The single drum is grooved for 7 8 diameter wire rope. All of the hydraulic Kawasaki pumps are together in this one compartment and are driven by a power divider off the engine. The front and rear hoist drums are powered by a Kawasaki hydraulic motor through planetary reducer. The planetary reducers and wet disc brakes are built inside the hoist drums and are grooved for 1 inch wire rope. The line speed of the front and rear hoist drums is 390 feet per minute. The boom hoist line speed is 230 feet per minute. The maximum line pull on the front and rear drums is 50,250 pounds. Now we will look at the operator's cabin controls. The cab is totally enclosed with standard air conditioning and heat. The operator has great visibility and safety glass all around. The window and the door will roll down and the side window will slide open. Window shades are provided for the top, front, and side windows. For the operator's comfort, there is an adjustable high back seat and a footrest. There is a cup holder and map light located above the control panel. Behind the seat is plenty of storage for a lunchbox and operating manuals. Also behind the seat is the air conditioner filter for outside air intake. The left side panel consists of the air conditioner control panel and the wiper control switches. Also located on the left side panel are the headlight switch, rear work light switch, and a swing alarm and flasher selection switch. This allows the operator to turn on or off the swing alarm or swing flashers. These are the front, rear and boom drum mechanical locking knobs. When pulled up, this will lock the drums. When pushed back, will release them. This is the main key switch. Turn to the left for engine preheat when needed. Turn to the right for accessories or to start the engine. The engine trouble detect lamp lights up when the engine control unit or ECU detects any fault related to the engine. Note that this light will illuminate during startup. The machine is equipped with an emergency stop switch. Press the emergency switch to stop the engine. To reset this switch, turn it to the right.